Come to your mat, step your feet underneath your hips. The space between your feet should be your two fist distance apart. We come back to this space a lot in class and sometimes I yell it kind of fast. I'm like two fist distance, but I'm saying two fists distance apart. That is your parallel space. Soften your knees, draw your shoulders back. Let's take an inhale as we reach up to the sky. And reach for pulling your right wrist. Wrap your left hand around your right wrist and pull way over to the left. I'm gonna go ahead and mute everyone now. <laughs> All right. Good, inhale, come to center. Let's take your left wrist into your right hand and then pull way over to the right. Inhale, come to center. Let your hands come down like you're a wine bottle opener and then press them down slow. Turn your palms up, reach up to the sky. Exhale, turn the palms down, press down. Good, inhale, turn the palms up, sweep up. Press your palms together, bring your hands down to center towards your heart. This is your Anjali Mudra. Let's step wide, taking our toes out 11 and one. Turn your feet out, turn your knees out, turn your femur slightly out from the hip socket. Now sweep your arms up. As you exhale, bend your knees. Knees will land right on top of the ankles, push your hips back, keep your tailbone in neutral. Hands will come down and then start to sweep big as you stand up. Exhale, pull down and through. So we're gonna take about five slow sumo squats. Getting your thighs ready, getting your calves ready, opening up to the shoulder griddle and your core. Let's come all the way down, stay down. Slide your hands to your inner thighs. Find your twist, drop your right shoulder in, look past your left. Inhale as you come to center, drop your left shoulder and look past your right. Good, inhale, come to center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, twist. Do a few of these to your own breath. Close your eyes whenever you'd like. Good, one more each side. And let's come to center. Let your belly drape down, open your heart, push your tailbone out, take an inhale. As we exhale, drape your hands down, begin to tuck your pelvis, roll through to standing. Let your shoulders come back, chin goes parallel at the floor. Step your feet parallel. Take your hands to prayer, hips go down and back in your chair squat. Bend your knees. Make sure that your knees do not pass your toes. Come right into standing. Press your arms back at the top. Good, let's lower down for two. And then press the arms back, stand up for two. Lower and lift. Inhale through the nose. Exhale deep at the mouth, finding your Pilates breath. Force the exhale out. Good. Now add a little march. Pull your right knee in, right knee comes in, and then your left knee. Now notice as you pull the knee in, are you really leaning? Right? Don't lean. Try to come up to center using these abs. You can take it at your own speed. Lower and left. Lower and left. Inhale and exhale. We're gonna be here for a minute. All of this is your warm up. Try to get you nice and warm before we go down to the mat. And this is Pilates Fusion. I know some studios were marketing this as, as yoga or gentle yoga. <laughs> this is not my gentle yoga class. It's different, but I do have a gentle yoga class on Tuesdays at 12 that's also community free or slash donation based if anybody wants to come five four 
three, two, and one. Pull your right knee up. Bend your elbows out to the side. Open your right knee out to the side. Exhale, pull the elbows in front of your shoulders. Pull the right knee in front of your hip. Open and close. We have five, four, three. Try to look at something that's not moving to help you balance. Two and one. Pull the right knee in, lift it higher, flex the right foot for three, two, and one. Step the right foot down, hands to prayer again. Get really low, start your march, press the hands back. Now try to really firm your triceps as you push the arms back. We're not throwing the body, we're controlling it. We got five more each side. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one, and hold your left knee up high. Bend the elbows into the side. Find your center of balance. Open the left knee out to the side. Flex the left foot. Pull the elbows in front of the shoulders. Pull the left knee in front of the hip. Open and close. Five, four, three, two, and hold on the one. Pull the elbows in front of the shoulders. Pull your left knee high into your chest for three, two, and one. Let's step wide. Toes at 11 to one. Reach out wide, cross the arms. Reach out wide, cross the arms. Come into your sumo squat. Try to alternate what arm goes on top. Three, two, and one. Sweep up, hands to your heart. Turn your right toes out to the right. Bend your right knee over the ankle. Lift your left toes. Turn your left toes slightly to the right as well. Reach your arms out in your warrior two. Find your 90 degree bend in your right knee and find your heel to arch alignment. Right heel to your left foot arch. Reach the left hand back, right hand comes up to the sky. And as you exhale, bring your arms out to a T. Bend your right elbow, bring your right forearm down to the right thigh. Reach your left hand up and over. Cheek to bicep. Find your straight line from your left fingertips out your left heel. Push deep into the right thigh. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse to warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two, press into it. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side angle pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side angle pose and hold. Rotate your left ribs towards the sky. Find that opening. Now stay right here. Can you bring your right hand into this? Hold for five, four, three, two. Warrior two. Reverse the warrior and straighten your right leg. <sighs> Should feel good on that right hip. Exhale, warrior two. Soft gaze with the front right fingertips. Wheel down, pivot onto the left toes, find your lunge, stay here, take three breaths in your lunge, why I let someone else in, good, three deep breaths, open up through that right glute, open up through your left hip, one more deep breath here, plant your hands down, step your right foot back, find your plank, from blank, plank, Push up and back into downward facing dog. Push your shoulders towards your hips. Inhale, into plank. Lift your chin away from your chest. Soften your glutes. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, into plank. Exhale, downward dog. 
Draw those heels down. Lift the heels, chin up the chest, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Three. Two. And one more. Let's come into plank, soften our knees, soften our elbows, get shaky and hold. Just for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, press up and back. Downward facing dog, you did so good. Okay, reach your right leg out, open your right hip, flex the foot, bend your right knee, bring your right heel towards your right glute, keep on pressing your shoulders back. Good, point the right toe, reach your right leg out, close your hip. Imagine your hip has a flashlight on it, turn it down towards the ground. Exhale, bring your right knee towards your heart. Shift your shoulders on top of your hands. Inhale, reach your right leg up. Exhale, bring your right knee towards your heart and this time step it through. Bring your right foot between your hands. If it doesn't make it, you scoot the foot up, okay? You can use your chair or your yoga blocks. Whatever you use in your regular practice, bring it in now, right? Hold here. Okay, come onto your fingertips. Take a deep breath in. Come off of your fingertips. Retract your shoulders. Really nice, you're doing awesome. Now let's bring your right hand forward, left hand back. It's gonna feel weird. That's okay, I want you to push that balance today. Good, now shift your left heel down, bring your left hand forward. Bring the left forward, hand forward and around, and then warrior two, the right hand hasn't moved. Reverse the warrior and straighten your right leg. Exhale, warrior two. Bend your right elbow, side angle pose. Bring the left hand up and over. Open up the left ribs towards the sky. Inhale, warrior two. Reverse the warrior. Good. Exhale, warrior two. Bring your left hand towards your left hip. Bring it down. Lift your left heel again. Square off the hips. Bring your hands towards the ceiling or towards the sky. <sighs> Exhale, hands to your heart. All right. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the left heel down. Turn your right toes forward. Turn both your feet slightly out. Come back into the sumo. Arms go big, hands to your heart. Sumo squat, inhale. Exhale, get down low. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling my sweat break. This is good. We wanna break our sweat before we go down to the mat. I say at least get 20 or 30 minutes with your heart rate up. They say we need at least 20 minutes of movements with our heart rate up to be at that spot that we wanna be where we're burning calories. Beautiful, we got three. Forced to exhale the mouth too. And one more, let's meet at the top, inhale. Stay standing, bring your hands to your heart. Rotate your left thigh and the left hip bone. Turn the left toes out. Bend your left knee 90 degrees. Turn your right toes towards the left too. If you grabbed a big yardstick, you wanna see that your left heel and your right foot arch are connecting, right? That's the line. If it's not like that, please move your feet so you're in heel to arch alignment. I want you to be protected. Open your arms out into a T shape. Are you leaning towards your left hand? Don't do that. Pull your shoulders back on top of your hips. Bend your left knee over the ankle. Reverse the warrior. How far can your right hand go down your right calf? Open up the left ribs. Keep the bend in the left knee. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side angle pose. Open up the right ribs. Bend your left elbow, bring the left forearm down to the left thigh. Inhale, warrior two. And reach back, reverse that warrior. Exhale, warrior two. 
Inhale, side angle pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side angle pose. Exhale, warrior two. Last round. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side angle pose and hold. Hold it. Can we bring our left hand into it? Keep the right ribs open. For three, two, one. Warrior two. Reverse warrior and straighten your left leg. Bring it with you. That's it. Open up the left ribs and the hip. Exhale, warrior two. Okay. Here we go. We're going to wheel down. Bring your left hand. Right hand up. Pivot onto the right toes. Both hands come down to the ground or your block or your chair. And find your breath again here. Opening through your right hip, the right psoas, and the left glute. For three, two, and one. Let's plant our hands down. Step your left foot back. Find your plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Push your hips up and back. At any point, if you decide you need a child's pose, go ahead and take it. Let's lift your heels. Come into plank. Now lift your heels away from your back wall, shifting your shoulders past your hands, and drop the heels back. Forward and back. Five, four, three, two, and on the one, bend your elbows by the side of your body. Chest touches before abs or thighs and curl your toes. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, release. Inhale, straighten your arms. Exhale, let your knees go wide. Hinge at your hips. Take your extended child's pose. Hips go down and back. Forehead comes down to the mat. Walk your hands over to the right. Take your left hand on top of your right. Push your hips down to the left. Walk your hands over to the left. Take your right hand on top of your left. Push your hips down to the right. Walk your hands to center. Shift your shoulders on top of your hands. Shift your knees underneath your hips. Curl your toes under. Spread your fingers. Lift your knees just two inches away from the ground. We're gonna hold here for 10. Maybe bend the elbows a little bit, shaky for nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Press up and back, downward facing dog. Extend your left leg up, open up the hip, really reach through that hip and not through the shoulders. Bend your left knee, flex the foot, hold your heel in towards your seat. Deep breaths here. Three, two, and point the left toes, reach the left leg out, close the hip, exhale, left knee towards your heart, shift your shoulders on top of your hands. Inhale, reach back out. Exhale, left knee to your heart and step it through. All right, step it through on this one. Hold here. Oh, catch your breath. Relax the shoulders back. Okay. Now we're going to bring our left hand out, right hand back. Get long through the top of your head. Pull your stomach away from the left thigh. Hold your left hand here. Bring the right hand forward. Bring the right hand up and around. Pivot onto that right heel. Come into the warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Good, bring the left leg with you. Exhale, warrior two. Side angle pose. Open up the right ribs. Option to bring that left hand out for some extra. Good, warrior two. Reverse. Exhale, warrior two, hold here. Look past your left fingertips. Bring your right hand down towards your right hip. Lift the right heel, square off the hips. Option to keep your hands here, even at a slight hinge in your back to help lower back tightness, or bring your hands up to the sky. Open your heart towards the sky. Rebend that left knee over the ankle. Exhale, hands to your heart. Slightly hinge forward. Root into your left foot. 
Take an inhale. As you exhale, lift your right foot. Warrior three. Virabhadrasana three. Bend your left knee. Flex the right foot. Squeeze between your shoulder blades for three, two, and pull your right knee high into your chest. Hold there. Lift your right knee one inch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold here. Bring your hands up. Lift your right knee higher for three, two, and the right foot comes parallel down to your left foot. Lower down. Reach up to the sky. It's a chair squat again. Hips are going down and back. Okay, awesome. Now add your releve. I want you to lift your heels at the top. If you need to use your wall or your chair, use it. If I use my chair, it would look like this, right? One hand onto the chair, or you can use your wall. But lift the heels. Lift, find that pause. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Come back down and hold. Belly firm, tailbone in neutral. Lift your left heel. Get shaky. Bring your left knee in, left foot off the ground. Extend your left leg out behind you. Warrior three. Bend your right knee. Hold. Squeeze between your shoulder blades for five, four, three, two. Pull up into standing. Pull your left knee into your chest and lift the left knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold here. Hands up to the sky. Left knee higher for three, two, and one. Step the left foot down. Eight big chair squats. Reach. Lower down and reach. Now lift your heels at the top. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Five. Four. Get those quads firm. Three. Two. And hold your heels lifted. Belly in. Bend your knees past your toes. Shoulders back. Power leg. This is the only pose where our knees get to pass our toes. Hold here and a little pulse. A little pulse. Get shaky again. Option for your hands to come to your heart or up to the sky. For five, four, three, two. Hold here. Three. Get lower. Two and one. Forward fold. Awesome. Inhale. Hands to your shins. Come up halfway to your flat back. Exhale, fold. Step your right foot back. Left foot back into your plank. Downward facing dog. Yeah, sure. Inhale to your plank. Chin up the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Shift forward, lifting your heels away from the back wall. Exhale, bend the elbows by the side of the body. Come all the way down. Low cobra, high cobra, or upward dog. Exhale, release. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Extend a child's pose. Walk your hands over to the right. Left hand comes on top of your right. Push your hips down to the left. <sighs> awesome. Walk your hands over to the left. Right hand on top of your left. Push your hips down to the right. Walk your hands to center. Shift your shoulders on top of your hands, knees underneath your hips. For sensitive knees, grab your pillow or your blanket, place it underneath your knees. Move your knees back to two fists distance apart. Hide your feet behind your knees so you cannot see them. Now let your belly drape down towards the ground. Open your heart. Maybe you lift your gaze. And as you exhale, tuck your pelvis. Push through your hands and your shins and the tops of your feet. Good. Inhale. Belly comes down. Heart comes forward. Open up. And as you exhale, big round. Press your mat away from you. And it's the sensation that you're curling up the mat between your knees and your hands as you press down. 
All right, beautiful Kimberly, amazing. Tanya, really nice. You all deserve this stretch. We've been going hard for 30 minutes. Do three more to your own breath and try to close your eyes. Really give yourself that space. Collect. Now let's come into a neutral spine. We're not in cat, we're not in cow. You're gonna let your belly drape down. As you exhale, round your spine, push your hips down towards your right heel. Come over towards your center, between your heels, and then move your hips to the left and come back up, belly comes down, heart goes forward. Exhale, round. Down to the right, to center, left and back up. And one more time to the right side. Right, center, left and back up. Now left side, inhale. Exhale, round, really tuck the pelvis, push down to the left, center, right and back up. And left, down, right, back one, one more time, one more time, doing so good. Really undulate through your spine. Come to center and sit down onto your heels. Hero's pose. Let your belly come forward, shoulders back. This is your huge exaggerated anterior tilt of your spine. Now come to neutral spine and then posterior tilt like you're really tucking. It's like your, your cat pose. So in heroes, we're doing a cat and a cow. Good. Take your knees wide. Curl your toes under. See if we can sit back onto our heels, dropping the hips low. Bring your hands to your heart. Encourage your knees to open up by pressing your elbows against your knees. Now press your shoulders away from your ears. Get taller. No rounding. <sighs> Bring your right hand down. Take your left hand up to the sky. Look past your left thumb. Exhale. Bring your left hand down. Right hand reaches up. Exhale, right hand comes down. Left hand comes up and we're gonna hold. Okay, find this stretch. Bend your left elbow, taking your left hand behind your back. And for some of my my really flexible yogis, you can come into your full bind, bringing your right bicep and tricep around the front of the right thigh, and then wrapping around the thigh and the calf and bring your right fingertips to meet your left fingertips behind you. Keep on looking past the left shoulder. Good, let's slowly release. No rubber banding the limbs. Bring your left hand down. Bring your right hand down. Bring the left hand down. Wiggle your left bicep and tricep on the inside of the left thigh. Rotate your right ribs open. Bring the right hand up. Option to bend your right elbow, taking your right hand behind the small of your back. And maybe you try to inch your right fingertips to the top of your left thigh. Now option for the left arm to come around the front of the left knee and find your full bind. And if you don't find it today, you could always fake it. I'm faking it here. I don't have it, but some of you might have it at home. Awesome for you. If you don't have it, awesome still. Wherever you are is perfect. Good. Let's reach your right hand up. Exhale, release the right hand and the left hand. Push your hips up, parallel the feet. Just two fists distance again. Hands to your shins, retract the shoulders, pressing your shoulder blades back. Exhale, round through your spine. Inhale, press through the heels. Arms come out into a T. Come up with a flat back to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Awesome. Step your feet wide. Feet going really wide. They say toes out <laughs> or ankles out as far as your wrist can go, right? So open up the arms. I'm not quite as far as I think my wrists are, but just around there is good. Toes in front of your heels. Oftentimes we'll do a turnout in Pilates or bar, but for your yoga prasarita, 
our toes will be right in front of our heels. Let's take an inhale up to the sky. Exhale, hands to your hips. For hyperextenders, don't lock out those knees, okay? We have to bend our knees a little bit. Now hold halfway. This is where you can use your chair. Again, you can use a wall. Most, most of us are at home, so get creative with your props. If this feels okay, I want you to reach down for the ground, right? Then release your head. Okay, some of you might be able to walk your hands back with your feet. You're lining up your feet and your fingertips in the same line. And then some of you might be able to bring your head down, okay? You have to bring your head down before you can go anywhere else. And then you could start to bend the elbows and bring your, your knees to your elbows or try bringing your feet all the way up to the sky. I haven't done this in a long time. Let me see if I could do it with you. So from here, I walk my hands back with my feet. I start to press my weight into my head and my hands and come all the way up into your tripod headstand. Right? The elbows have to bend like in Chaturanga. Good. Now, if you're in the air, let's come down just as slowly as we came up. Bring the feet down. Walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Come into your long spine first. Bring your hands to your hips. Hold there. Take a couple deep breaths so all that blood doesn't rush to our head. Ah, feels good to go upside down. Inhale, come up. Awesome. Now let's bend the right knee. Straighten the left leg. Straighten the right leg. Bend your left knee. Good. Straighten the left leg. Turn your, left, turn your right toes slightly out to the right. Bend your right knee. You could use your prop or let's reach down to the floor. And I want you to lift the right heel. Flex the left foot. Sit down onto your right heel. Turn your left toes to the sky. Walk your hands forward. Push your hips back. I know Andrea and I have been, have been thinking about doing a, a yoga hammock class. She found these awesome hammocks that you can like place in your doorway. If any of you would be interested in that type of class, it could be a Pilates fusion, it could be a yoga stretch, but the hammocks are um, not that expensive and it might be fun for us. I would love to do that with you. I'd love to be upside down more with you. Now let's come onto our fingertips, press into your right heel lift off the right heel push the left toes down walk your hands over to the left start to turn the left toes slightly out to the left as you lift the left heel sit down on the left heel flex your right toes rotate the right toes to the sky so you can feel that opening in your right inner thigh walk your hands forward push your hips back for lower back sensitivity you're gonna stay up higher my back is a little tight um, ever since I moved all my junk <laughs> into this new apartment. So I'm gonna protect my back by staying up higher. I'm not gonna push it. It's not about how low we can go, okay? It's about finding your true practice. Good, now lift your heart if your head and your heart is down. Press into your left foot. Lift off the left foot. Let's walk your hands over to the right. Try lifting the right heel again. Sit down on the heel. Walk your hands forward. Keep on walking forward. Now, right hand comes down. Wiggle that right bicep in front on the inside of the right knee. Take your left hand up to the sky. Bend your left elbow behind your back in option to come into your bind again. Right hand wraps around right, your right bicep and right tricep on the front of your right knee and you wrap around the knee and the calf and then come into the bind. Good, bring your left hand up. Left hand comes down, right hand comes down. Press into your right foot. Walk your hands over to the left. Lift your left heel, sit down on the heel. That's it. Now wiggle the left bicep and tricep in front of the left knee. Reach your right hand up. This is a beautiful place to stay, a strong place to stay. 
option to bind your bind, bending your right elbow, taking your right hand behind your back, taking the left hand around the front of the left knee and the, the shin, and then look past your right shoulder. Good, let's release your left hand. Release the right hand up, place the right hand down. Good, press into your left foot. Good, walk your hands to the right and turn your right toes to the right. Pivot onto the left toes. Step your right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale into plank, shift forward, bend your elbows by the side of your body, chest touches before abs or thighs. Inhale, low cobra, high cobra, or upward dog. Press into your arms, press into your feet so much your kneecaps and thighs lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, straighten the arms, come onto the knees, extended child's pose. Inhale into hero's pose. Let's sit on down and then come onto your glutes. Grab your weights and your ball. If you don't have a ball, you can use your towel. Wrap your towel or fold your towel a few times and then roll it up and then put it at your scapula, your lower shoulder blades. This is like a little Pilates yoga ball. It's actually gorgeous yoga tune-up ball. Great for Pilates though. Let's bring the ball underneath or your prop underneath your lower shoulder blades. You know what we're coming into? your favorite incline abs, okay? So from here, take your hands behind your head. Support your head. No pulling on the neck. Your first rib is right underneath your clavicles, okay? Your, your last rib is like this floating rib, your 12th rib. Your fifth rib is your center chest. You wanna lift up from your center chest. Do not pull on the neck. Keep a space for a small apple underneath your chin. Support your head. Be safe, okay? No pulling. Bring your right knee into tabletop, okay? Awesome. Now extend your right leg out 45 degrees. Option to grab your weight in your left hand. Bring your left hand up towards the sky, exhale, bring your right knee just above the hip bone, not too high. I don't want to see this, okay? Right knee on top of the hip bone. The left hand comes down by the side of your body. Reach the left hand up to the sky, right leg out 45 degrees. Good. Inhale, exhale five, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale three, inhale, exhale two. You know how to count. That's what 12 years of teaching has done for me. I'm not a counter. I don't need to count for you. Okay, hold. Now we're gonna cross. Left hand passes your right thigh. Look past your right elbow. And inhale, come back up to the sky. Exhale, cross. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cross. I know that when I stop counting though, usually you're like, can you please just count down again? <sighs> we got five, <sighs> four, find your Pilates breath, three, two, and one. Okay, hold here, hold your twist. Take your right leg up, draw the right leg halfway down, and then pull back up. Don't move the upper body. Five, point the right toes, Four, three, two, and one. Hold here. Reach both your hands over towards your right. Squeeze your thighs together. Point your right toes. Point your left toes. Lift the left toes a little bit from the ground. Lift your shoulders higher for three, two, and one. Both feet come down. Open up over your ball or your pillow or your towel. We can let those knees go side to side. Okay, you ready? Yeah, so excited. Okay, here we go. Hands behind your head, support your head. Left knee only coming to your tabletop, right? 
right hand or maybe that right hand with weight comes up to the sky reach your left leg out exhale left knee comes in only to tabletop above the hip bone and press your right arm down by the side of you lift off your prop your prop is not there for you just to take a break in okay don't make this easy make it hard we're in our last little bit of class you know if you're making it easy okay you're only cheating yourself don't do that we got three two and one let's take your right hand past your left thigh look past the left elbow open up open up that left elbow don't wrap around your face inhale reach out exhale inhale lengthen exhale squeeze what are you squeezing you're squeezing your abs five four three two and one hold the twist extend your left leg up 90 bring it down to about 45 in five, four, three, two, and hold on the one. Reach both your hands to the right. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Lift your right toes up a little bit. Both your hands go over to the left. I'm sorry. Lift yourself up the ball a little bit more for three, two, and one. Open up. Really nice. Okay, hands come behind your head. I'm gonna turn a little bit so that my neck doesn't get really tight as I'm teaching. Bring both your knees into tabletop. Hold there, find your shakes, curl off your prop. If you're not shaking in your abs, work harder, pull off the prop, come up higher. Hold there. Now reach your legs out to 45 and then pull them back in. Inhale, out to 45. Exhale, pull back in. For those of you that want weights, you can always add them, even if I don't say it. But the weights would come up to the sky, or hands up to the sky. Let's bring your hands to your shins, the outer shins. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, five. Inhale, reach. Exhale, four. Inhale, three. Woo two and one hold on let's come off your ball bring your feet up reach your arms out you can keep the knees bent or option to extend your legs full bow pose ah, i'm gonna lose it don't lose it for five four three two and one find your back bend Okay, release your ball. Doing really good. Let's extend your legs out in front of you. <sighs> Grab your ball, all your weights. Take them out in front of your chest. Take an inhale. As you exhale, tuck your pelvis, come halfway back. Good, roll up in the C curve. At the top, restack your spine. Weights or ball can come up to the sky as long as your ribs aren't puffing out. We're gonna take an inhale. Exhale, ball in front of you, find the C-curve back. Take it, inhale at your hold. Exhale, roll up, chin off the chest. Ball can come up. So it's an exhale as you come back. Inhale while you're holding. Exhale as you roll up and come back up. Inhale at the top. Exhale, tuck the pelvis, roll halfway back, posterior tilt of your spine. Good, posterior tilt of the spine. Come up into a neutral spine. Ta-da, you are so tall. And keep on going. Now, some of you are gonna go there. Keep on working it. Don't take a break. I know that I'm talking, but keep on going. Looking really good. Yes, I can see you, Jessica. Awesome. Some of you are gonna find the full roll down. Keeping the feet down, inhale. Exhale, tuck your pelvis, roll on back. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, roll on up. Keep your feet down. You can tell I'm tired because my feet want to come up. So if you find you can't come back up, you got to go to the halfway point. There is no shame there. Okay, inhale, 
Exhale, roll up. Okay, keep on working. Whether you're at halfway or you're all the way going down, keep on doing it. Beautiful, awesome, Lisa. Awesome, Rosemary, Debbie, Marty, yes. I'm loving this. Now, keep on going. Try not to take a break. If you need to take a break, come into a smaller halfway version of the roll down. I'm gonna teach you the roll over. It is very important that if you have a cervical spine injury and neck injury, you don't do the roll over. Also, don't look left to right while you're upside down. We're gonna roll over. We're gonna bring the shins parallel with the floor. Feet do not touch the floor. You will look towards your thighs and then keep the shoulders and neck down as you slowly roll out. I'm gonna teach the roll over. If you're unfamiliar, please watch me first, okay? But try to stay engaged with your abs. So we're gonna come down, knees bend into 45. Take an inhale, extend your legs. Exhale, lift up and over, hold there. Flex your feet, look towards your thighs, shins parallel with the floor, press your arms down, no moving your neck, roll slowly out of it, point the toes up 45. Inhale, exhale, lift up and over, flex the feet, roll down slow. Again, no looking left to right. I really want you to stay protected. And if you have a neck thing or a shoulder thing, stay away from it. The roll back is just as hard, right? You don't have to do these super crazy Pilates or yoga poses. Beautiful. And the slower you can come down, the better. Think of drawing the shins towards your head as you roll out of it. Good. Good, I see you taking your options. You look great. Don't let the feet touch the floor. Find that parallel spot, that sweet spot where your abs are working. Look towards the thighs. Let's take three slow ones, whether you're in the rollover or the roll back. Make these your best three. The best three. Best three you've ever done, right? All year. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Last one. Last slowest one. Good. Let's meet down. Bend your knees. Come into your windshield wipers, knees going side to side. I'm going to come through our classical um, flat back series, a Pilates series, pretty fast. Not really fast, but just a little here because time flies when we're having fun. We had so much fun this class, right? We're, class is pretty much over, but I'm gonna give you about three minutes of um, transverse abdominals. Lay down, grab your prop. Lift your hips, take the ball underneath the end of your tailbone, tops of your sit bones. Hands press down by the side of your body in a low V. Bring your knees into tabletop. Let's flex your feet, extend your legs out 45 degrees or less than 45 degrees. If this is yucky on your back or you feel like you can't hold it, bring it a little higher towards 80 or 75 degrees. Now flex your feet, bend your left knee just above the hip bone, press the leg out, bend the right knee, press up, left knee, press, right knee, press. And we're gonna just walk like this Option for the hands to come up. Option for you to find your curl. If you're finding your curl, what are we doing? We're not pulling on our head. We're just supporting our head. We're lifting from that fifth rib again. And we're walking. Take a walk, take a walk. Oh. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, and one. All right, heels come together. Flex your feet, bend your knees just above the hip bones. Your knees open up as wide as your feet. They go the same direction, but keep the heels glued together, press out. Baby frog. <sighs> Inhale through the nose, exhale the mouth. We got five, four, Three, 
two, ooh, and one. Now heel beats. Flex your feet, click the heels. One, two, three, point the toes, open up. Exhale, flex and squeeze, 45 degrees. One, two, three, point and open. One, two, three, point and open. If you have those weights and you want to get crazy, you can beach ball arms. One, two, three, and then open. One, two, three, and open. One, two, three, and point. One, two, three, and point. As I layer on more stuff, sometimes it's hard, right, to remember to flex or point, but flex, 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 point. Flex, 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 point. Inhale as you open. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, three. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, one. Let's come up to 90. Right up to 90. Leg circles go out and around. Flex your feet. Come down and squeeze together. Point your toes. Draw a line up. Flex your feet out and around. Keep on going. Point. Draw a line up, go out and around, flex your feet, squeeze those heels together, inner thighs together, point, brush up, flex, out and around, awesome, point, brush up, flex, out and around, point, brush up and hold, hold there, stay there, awesome, flex your feet, come down to 45, and then open, point the toes, open up and around, bring your thighs together. Flex as you draw the line down. Point out and around. Back up to 90. You got three slow ones. That's it, and then we're done. Three, and you can always bend your knees. Two. Last one. And hold. Can we bring our shoulders off the ground? Reach your hands past your thighs. Lift your shoulders, neck and head for three. Maybe push your toes away from you about four inches. Two and one. Release the shoulders, neck and head. Let your right leg come down. Let your left leg come down. Let your feet go wide, opening up your frontal hip bones, your psoas. Let the hips go side to side. <sighs> you did it. Bend your knees, lift off the ball, relax. Let the soles of your feet come together, knees go out. Turn your palms open towards the sky, close your eyes. We're taking a very mini break, Shavasana here. Let yourself melt into the mat. Good, reach your hands behind your head, roll over to one side, push yourself up into a seated position, come into your tabletop, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, cat cow. Now curl your toes under, push your hips up and back, walk your hands back to your feet, soften your knees, take an inhale. Exhale, roll up, Pilates rolling up. Inhale, sweep up to the sky with your hands. Exhale, hands to your heart. One more deep breath, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, seal your practice to your heart. Take a moment to thank yourself for making it here today. Thank yourself for doing something so important for your body and your mind. You deserve to feel good. You deserve time, you deserve a thank you. Thank you for letting me practice with you today. Namaste.